cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. Today I'm going to make my uh, uh, this is my wife's uh, favorite dish, uh, deep fried meatball. Okay, so this is I think maybe my third time making a meatball video, but rest assured, every time I make the same dish, I will actually use a different way, so that you all can actually have different ideas. Okay, oh, oh, I always make it depending on what do I have at home in my kitchen that particular day. Okay, so I have about 250 grams of uh, minced meat here. Uh, it's about 30% uh, fat and about fat meat and the, uh, uh, the other the other 70 percent lean meat here okay so let's start marinating the the meat so I have here some garlic okay it's up to you how much you want to put okay I'm a garlic lover so I tend to put quite a lot and red red onion. Okay, and usually people will put seng kuang. I don't have seng kuang with me, so I actually replace it with a white radish. Also chopped, yeah. This is actually about three cream crackers, yeah, crackers, and you actually put it in. I put it into a small plastic bag, and you squeeze it, yeah, squeeze it until about powder form, this kind of consistency, and you can add it in. This will actually bring out the fragrance for your meatball. Okay. Now we need to season it a little bit. So let's give it a bit of salt, followed by a bit of sugar. These are some. Uh, red, uh, sorry, black pepper. Okay, some black pepper. About half teaspoon of mushroom powder, optional. If you have, you see, nothing in this, in this uh, mixture here is compulsory beside the meat. Okay, so if you don't have certain thing that I'm using here, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, a bit of. Light soya sauce, but not so much because I'm going to uh, complement it with fish sauce. Why is it I don't want to put too much light soya sauce? Because when you deep fry, when you deep fry the, the, the meat, the meatball later, light soya sauce will make it. Oops, luckily I use a spoon. You only need about half a tablespoon, okay? Not so much. You will actually darken the meatball, okay? If you uh, use a lot of light soya sauce, so be careful. And I have some saucing wine here. Okay. With a bit of uh, sesame oil. It's very fragrant. And we want to uh, give it, put in some egg, but you don't want to egg the whole, add in the whole egg immediately. We can add in the egg by stages. We can add in the the the, the egg by stages, so we don't want to add so much first. You need some cornstarch. Okay. Then you give it some stir. I think I can. I 
I think I can eat it. It's quite dry. Sometimes your mixture can be a bit more watery, then you don't have to add in so much egg, okay? Alright, so we uh, you will keep on stir until everything blends very nicely. We'll come back shortly. Okay, after stir mixing them nicely, um, then you will cover this with a lid and put it into the refrigerator to uh, marinate it for at least one two hours. Okay, so and then after that we will make it into ball, small ball shape, ping pong ball, slightly smaller than ping pong ball, and uh, deep fry. It. Okay, I'm going to show the how to deep fry later. Okay, after marinated for about one and a half hour, I've made the uh, meat into a uh, meat ball. Okay, about uh, smaller than a ping pong ball. And then I have heated one pot of oil here and we want to use uh, medium heat, okay, medium fire to deep fry the meatball so that you will not, you don't want to uh, burn your meatball before it is cooked. Okay, so what do I mean by medium heat? Medium heat, um, the, the boiling, boiling temperature of an oil is 280 degrees. So medium heat, we are actually referring to about 140 degrees Celsius. So how do we know whether it's 100 degree, degrees Celsius or not? You use a chopstick, put it inside the oil and you start seeing uh, active bubbles like this. And this, secondly, there's no smoke, yeah, there's no smoke. So these two signal is telling you this is about 140 degrees. When you start seeing smoke, you actually need to pour in a bit more oil to uh, to reduce the heat because there will be about 170 to 180 degree Celsius. Okay, so now we can start deep frying our meatball. In Malaysia, usually we will eat this uh, by dipping with uh, uh, chili paste, yeah, chili sauce. So you don't want to uh, flip it too early. We wait until it's slowly taking shapes. Then only you can slightly flip it over, okay? I may or may not do double fry. I will decide later depending on situation. Okay? So for those of you who has been following APA for quite some time, you know what double fry meaning. Um, meaning the fry, the uh, fr first time, first round frying is actually using the medium, medium heat oil to fry until it is fully cooked, almost fully cooked, 80 or 90 percent. After which you will actually do uh, you will raise the heat to high heat and fry it under, uh, under high heat for uh, like about 10 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds just to give it a uh, crispy and uh, golden brown effect. Okay, we will decide later whether we want to do double fry or not. Like I said, don't flip it too early. When it starts taking shape, then you start pushing it slowly and flip it. Okay. This will take easily 5 to 10 minutes time. We'll come back shortly. Okay, this is after the about 2 minutes. Um, you can feel my meatball start to uh, take shape. Then you can actually start fill it, flip it over. Slowly flip it over just like this. Start. You can see the bottom has already uh, turning nicely golden brown. You see, this is this is the use the uh, purpose of putting cornstarch and egg. You will keep all the ingredient and 
uh, sticking together. If not, you will see a lot of uh, uh, the uh, onions and everything coming up. Okay, so you will take a few more minutes before it is done. We come back shortly. All right, you can see from here I'm getting the golden ground color that I've got, and you can see the bubble is getting much lesser. And as you, when you are pushing this, the meatball also become much lighter. This is all. This is a sign of the meatball getting cooked. All right. So we are now going to leave it up. I'm not going to do double fry. There's no need to do double fry anymore. So we are going to leave this up and put it on the oil soaking wall, uh, left, uh, paper. Look at the beautiful color. This one is slightly bigger. Still, it's cooked. Okay. There you go. If you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. This is my uh, meatball. Uh, come to Cooking Up uh, Facebook fan page. You click both the like and follow button, and um, subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. I have more than 160 cooking ideas there for you to take reference on, and follow Up on Instagram. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye.